Hey everybody and welcome to this video series where we are breaking down shots from movies and commercials, talking about cinematography and lighting ideas. You can find lots of videos about lighting, breakdowns of famous movies on this channel and if you are interested in cinematography and cinematic lighting, consider subscribing. Today, however, we will touch on a topic a bit less discussed but nevertheless as much important, which is blocking. And in particular, blocking for bigger scenes with lots of actors, uh, lots of extras. This topic has always been interesting for me, uh, how different directors go about it for different scenes, uh, how the cinematographer chooses angles and uh, how many shots done, etc. etc. I see this is uh, discussed a bit less than lighting, for example, but when it comes to shooting a bigger scene, uh, not just to actors talking, how you choose your angles, what shots and how many shots you need is something that distinguishes us as visual artists. And as an example for today's video, uh, I bring a scene from Valkyrie. Uh, it's a very nice movie, a periodic piece about World War II, directed by Brian Singer and cinematography, by Newton Thomas Siegel. I highly recommend watching it if you haven't done so. This scene is about Colonel von Stauffenberg, played by Tom Cruise, visiting a secret meeting where German politicians and military officers discuss their plans to assassinate Hitler. As you can see, this scene has a lot of people involved. Key actors conveying the lines are colored on the diagram. The red one is Tom Cruise, uh, no, he's not a communist, but he just plays a main role. Uh, all other black circles are just extras. And we have the main table in the center of the room and another one on the foreground. So this is how the diagram looks with all the coverage and movements. Now let's take a look at it shot by shot. We open up the scene with a dolly move from over the shoulder of the gentleman sitting behind the main table, showing Tom Cruise with another guy entering the room. Then we cut to the master shot of the whole room, uh, where we can clearly see the scene's geography. Tom Cruise and his friend here on the foreground, frame right, these two circles. This gentleman conveying most of the lines, his circle on the diagram. Couple of gentlemen sitting behind the table, just throw in some lines here and there. And this general, General Olbricht on the left, mostly reaction shots and his circle as well. Next shot, we are showing the reaction of what Colonel von Stauffenberg just heard. Then we have a quite interesting thing happening. Let's just freeze this shot for a sec and take a look at the diagram below. Apparently the gentleman uh, in black suit have moved to the opposite side of the room, uh, while we were on the reaction shot, because we start the next shot following him, just panning left, as he walks from this spot, you see. From here we have an over-the-shoulder angle, but a bit wide, so we can see our main character on the background. The gentleman behind the table has his say. We are low, uh, much lower than eye line, and uh, roughly at table's height on a dolly, slightly pushing to the right. Cutting back towards two shot, same camera as before, just reaction. Another reaction shot on general on the left side of the room. Close up on the other sitting gentleman. Going back to that over the shoulder camera. And quickly cut into the single shot of Tom Cruise. Now three reaction shots, that camera low on the dolly. Another position that delivered a close up. And going to over the shoulder from Tom Cruise to the person in black suit. Then reverse over the shoulder, he starts moving closer and we cut to that camera that was over the shoulder before, but now we pushed on a dolly a little bit back, the general on the left conveying a line, but now we are much closer to his eye line than we used to be with his camera. Two gentlemen behind the table discard that and we use shots from that same low angle camera on a dolly. Then we have a dialogue between Tom Cruise and the gentleman in black suit and we cover this dialogue mostly uh, with over the shoulder on the black gentleman and clean shots on Tom Cruise. I would note that the gentleman in black 
moved a bit closer for this dialogue, we introduce one more angle for the gentleman behind the table, reaction shots, same angle as before, and for the climax moment we push in with a dolly on Tom Cruise close-up. After couple cuts back and forth between these previous angles, he leaves and that's the end of this scene. So this is all the camera angles that has been chosen to cover this scene and hopefully this diagram now has a little bit more sense. Uh, for the order of coverage on the actual day, how it was shot on a day, it's a general practice to shoot the wide first. Uh, then they probably went for all the shots with Tom Cruise from one side, then from the other side, and after that the, his expensive time on set is over and you can proceed with shooting gentlemen behind the table and reaction shots. That's how it's done. Hopefully this breakdown and the diagram have been useful to you. I really enjoy studying how the blocking and camera angles uh, have been chosen, so when I need to shoot a scene with more actors, I know some very good ways on how to approach it, and I can build up upon this. If you're interested to know more about cinematic approach to lighting and would like to keep your cinematography knowledge organized so you have clear ideas on how to prepare lighting setups for your next short film or commercial work, welcome to check out my mini courses on cinematic lighting for modern filmmakers on www.cinecourses.com. I'm committed to creating a unique piece of content to help everybody interested in getting much more light and knowledge than you can ever get in a film school in much less time and progress faster as a visual artist. So check it out. You can find many lighting breakdowns and cinematography tutorials on this channel. Consider subscribing and activating the notification bell so you don't miss out when the next video comes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.